prime. Clear? You know about the Hardyman integrals. No? You should know. If you are having a function f in g, and they are the function of x, for example, you are having dx. If this will be in odd function and this will be in even function, then this will always give you zero. Right? This will always give you zero. You can do calculate, you will get zero. So it is needless to do calculate. Now here, this is all variable. This is all variable. Because here is the variable. Cos theta prime as a whole is all variable. So this is just like the integral dx and then cos x and d. This is dx and this one is cos theta prime, so this is x. Right? This one I will not write x, but this will, let's say, I write y. Because this is not a variable. Cos theta is not a variable here. Variable is theta prime. So dx and cos y and this. So cos y will come directly out. While this will become x square by 2. x dx integral. So we will get from here I will get 2 pi. And from here what I will get? From there I will get square of this one. Because it will become x square by 2. So x is cos theta, so it will become cos square theta prime. Divide by 2. And cos theta prime will come with it, because this is just a constant. Got it? This integral? Okay. You will have first, you will have to first understand the integral and then apply your formula on this one. Cos theta prime, let's say cos theta prime is equal to x, then this will become dx, right? Here is dx. Cos theta is your, let's say, write it as cos theta, not to confuse you. This is just a constant. And then this cos theta prime is x, so your integral is actually cos theta will come out. And integral x dx, now you know how to solve x dx, x square by 2. So x square by 2 and this is x square by 2 because I have just taken the square of it by 2. And this one is multiplied with this. So I got the solution of this one is equal to this. This one I solved for... This one I solved for this and now if I write, if I write like this from 0 to 2 by d phi time and from minus 1 to 0 d of cos theta prime minus from 0 to plus 1 and okay, this one let me write from 0 to plus 1 and this one is minus because minus potential is actually from minus 1 to 0. So I will have to write like this and d of cos theta prime and you make a full bracket here and a full bracket here and then multiply this with cos gamma. Now what you did, you came to know about the solution here, that the solution will be like this. Now you will put the limits as well as you will elaborate the solution, cos gamma. Clear? Because I just located that what will be the shape of this one. So when you will do like this, then what will happen? You will have you will have the values here. Look here. 2 pi will be there. No doubt with this one. Cos theta will be there. Because they are being taken as common from here. So 2 pi. 
2 pi cos of theta. They are there. What this will give? Because this is cos square theta prime by 2. First solve here. When this will come here, it will give you cos square theta prime by 2. Put the values 0 in this one plus 1. What it will be? 1 more 2. Because this will be for cos theta prime, you will put plus 1. So it will become 1, it will become 2. 1 over 2. Then minus. Now you will put here 0 and then minus 1 over 2. So minus and this minus will become plus. So you will get plus 1 over 2. And your final solution will become 2 pi. Because 1 over 2 plus 1 over 2, 1. 2 pi cos of theta. Clear? Yes. So you got this one that when you will integrate in this one cos gamma only, you will get the solution is 2 pi cos of theta. And what if you integrate the next term, which is cos cube gamma, right? So you will have to integrate now cos cube gamma. Then what is the behavior of that one? So I can write that cos cube gamma is equal to sine of theta, sine theta prime, cos phi minus phi prime, and plus cos theta, cos theta prime, and whole cube. Now you know the formula that if you are having a minus b cube, this will be a cube minus b cube minus 3ab, a minus b. Right? Yes. This is your formula. You will have to expand this one according to this. So you will get that cos cube gamma is equal to first this will become 3a square b plus 3ab square so I can write this one that this will be equal to 3 sine square theta sine square theta prime cos square phi minus phi prime cos theta cos theta prime plus cos cube theta cos cube theta prime and plus plus terms plus terms odd n cos phi minus phi prime which will so here we only took this term which is this and this and we took this term while this one okay, this one and this one we don't take why because this will be a cube. When a cube, this is our a. When this will become q. So this will become q, this will become q. And this will be the situation of odd a even to integral again. Because ultimately we will integrate this one. So this q will come in odd even integrals. And that's why this one will give us 0. This first term will give us 0 due to odd even integral. The second term that we have left is this one 3ab square. So 3 times a 
on this. And B squared will be the square of this. So again, sine theta will be coming in non-squared form. And it will be odd and this will be even. And this will give zero. This is the only one which is coming in square in this. So when this one is in square, then it is an even function. Right? Sine theta, sine cube theta, they are odd functions. This one is even function. Right? About this one, this is also even function. Cos theta is an even function, whether it's cube or it's square, it's an even function. So that's why we say the terms odd and cos this one which will integrate to zero. And now we will go on with this one. The integral, integral from 0 to 2 by d phi prime and integral d of cos theta prime and cos cube gamma is equal to 3 sine square theta cos theta and now when you will when you will do this and uh, integrate this one you see here from here 3 sine square theta and cos theta these are constant integration is on cos theta prime so sine square theta prime and cos theta prime these will be inside the integration so you can write its integration that this will be the integral and you can write sine square theta okay this will be sine square theta prime and then cos theta prime and then okay integral will be on sine square theta prime and then cos theta prime and then cos cos square phi minus phi prime so cos phi minus phi prime will come here because it's with phi. Clear? So I can write this one. That it will be it will be minus cos phi minus phi prime. It will come there. But I will have to know write it here because I have not written it there. And plus plus cos. this one plus cos cube theta in integral on cos cube theta prime d cos theta it will be like this yes. okay now when you will integrate this one you will get then this is equal, this is equal, I am not putting the limits, but only the values that to give me the idea. This is 3, 3 sine square theta cos theta and 2 pi over 2 cos square theta prime divided by 2 minus cos 4 theta prime by 4 and plus cos cube theta this one and this will become cos 4 theta prime divided by 4 and 2 pi will come from that one. Okay? So here I will have to, with this one I have not written d pi prime. Okay? And with this one I also have not written 
this one. So just like 2 pi with this and 2 pi with this. So d pi prime will come there as well. Because our integral is not on phi, our integral is on theta prime. So we will, okay, you know how you do this. This is cos theta prime, so it will become just means with respect to, uh, okay, I forgot to write here d of cos theta prime here and here. So this will become cos square by 2, cos square by 2. And then when you uh, write this one, cos theta prime, yes, this is right. Okay, right, right. This one is sine square theta prime. And this one is cos theta prime. You know how to solve this one. You can write sine square theta is 1 minus cos square theta. So cos theta, it will become cos cube theta first. So then cos cube will give you cos 4 theta. And cos square, cos theta will give you cos square. Right? So you will have to change the sine square theta to 1 minus cos square theta. Do multiply and it will give you 1 this and this. Then cos cube theta and this is cos cube so cos 4 by 4 and 2 pi from d pi prime. So now you will have to uh, put the limits in this one. So if I put the limits from 0 to 2 pi d pi prime and this one integral from minus 1 to 0 d of cos theta prime minus from 0 to plus 1 and d of cos theta prime and here I write cos Q gamma. This is equal now to okay. One thing I can do now that this is cos Q. Cos is in Q and function. Yes. And you know when your limits are symmetric, you know this thing, the symmetric limits. If you are having from minus infinity to plus infinity f of x dx and f of x is a new one function, then you can write this thing is 2 times from 0 to plus infinity f of x dx. Can you write like this? If f of x is a new one function. Here my cos gamma is a new one function. As it is a new one function, so I can apply this formula and this will give me